So reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th Kato, Chapter 4, beginning with text number 15. Aho Bhagini Aho Bama Maya Bam Bata Papmana Prusada Uvapatyam Bahavo Hinsitaha Sutaha Aho Bhaginya Ho Bama Maya Bambata Papmana Purushada Ivapatyam Bahavo Hinsita Sutaha Aho Alas Bagini, my dear sister, Aho, alas, Bahama, my dear brother in law, Maya, by me, Bam, of you, Bata, indeed, Papmana, because of sinful activities, Purusha Adaha. Arakshas, man eater. Eva, like. Huh? Apatyam, child. Bahavaha, many. Hinsitaha, have been killed. Sutaha, sons. Translation Alas, my sister. Alas, my brother in law. I am indeed so sinful that exactly like a man-eater Rakshas who eats his own child, I have killed so many sons born of you. Hmm. Translation please repeat. Alas, my sister. Alas, my brother-in-law. Brother I am indeed so sinful that exactly like a man-eater Rakshas who eats his own child. I have killed so many sons born of you. Purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Sri La Prabhupada. Rakshas, rakshasas are understood to be accustomed to eating their own sons as snakes and many other animals sometimes do. At the present moment in Kali Yuga, Raksha's fathers and mothers are killing their own children in the womb, and some are even eating the fetus with great relish. Thus the so-called civilization is gradually advancing by producing Rakshasas. Ahobagini hmm. Hobama, Maya Bamba Tapatmana, Purushada Ivapatyam bahavo hinsita suta. Alas, my sister, alas, my brother in law, I am indeed so sinful that exactly like a man eater Rakshas who eats his own child, I have killed so many sons born of you. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militam Jena. Tasmai Sri Gurave Nava Sri Chaitanya Manu Bistam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Sayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Svapadandigam Adadana Srinandan Taibridam Yache Puna Puna Sri Mad Rupa Padam Bujo Dulisyam Janmajanmani Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nitananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे पंचकल्पतुर्भ्यश कृपा सिंधु वैवट पतिता भावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम I was born in the darkness of ignorance with my eyes closed shut but my spiritual master has opened my eyes with the torch light of transcendental knowledge therefore I offer my humble obeisances at his lotus feet So here we see the changing nature of Kant huh? He was ready to kill the daughter so called daughter of Devaki even though she pleaded in an innocent voice so pleadingly that this is a girl please save her hmm? he was so demoniac but when he saw that child flew into the air and became durga devi his worshipful deity then he understood that his um, brother in law and sister they are not ordinary people otherwise uh, how durga devi could be born from them hmm? So understanding they were great personalities uh, then suddenly his uh, whole attitude changed we see this over and over with kant hmm? first he saw the nobility of um, basudev that basudev brought his first born son and kant uh, being struck uh, by the nobility of basudev anybody can deliver their first born son to someone who he knows will immediately kill him nobody can do such a thing but basudev was so noble to keep his word that i have given my word hmm? so by association of basudev he became a little pious he said all right the uh, the oracle said the eighth son so i have no fear from this son you taking back and then he then uh, when he associated with his evil ministers after being primed up by nard muni immediately by the evil association he said no let me kill them all uh, so again realizing that vasudev and devaki are great personalities and we know that by uh, sadhu sangha our whole attitude can be changed uh, sadhu sangha sadhu sangha sagra sarva shastra koi lavan matra sadhu sangha sarva siddhi hoy chaitanya charitamrita emphasizes this sadhu sangha uh, So now he's lamenting that he did so many sinful activities huh? that he killed the sons of his own sister just like a rakshas huh? and proper here says the rakshasas uh, are very fond of eating their own children we can't imagine such a thing hmm? uh, and proper points out here uh, that the modern so called civilization hmm? I can't remember who one sadhu I can't remember he was asked what do you think about western civilization he said I think it would be a good idea <laughs> in other words if they become civilized it would be a good idea <laughs> uh, so the modern civilization uh, just like rakshasas are killing their own child within the womb practically unimaginable in other ages hmm? we can't imagine such a thing every one of us when we think back on our childhood we have mostly we have more fond memories of our mother mother was always very sweet and soft father was a little stern and strict we have fond memories of him also huh? but we feel so much love for our mothers isn't it huh? and now the same mother the child has taken shelter in the womb where is the womb right below the heart here is the heart womb is just below the heart they're so cruel the civilization becomes so cruel the mothers and fathers they kill the child within the womb so the prob oh, i was just reading giraj maharaj's book so prabhu's last pandal was modern civilization has failed the only answer is krishna consciousness huh? so we have a society where people think uh, even here in bharat barsh so many millions of abortions are performed huh? legally and illegally huh? all over the world we can't imagine huh? we always think so fondly of our mother and father but now the mother and father child has come huh? Huh? 
within the womb is taken shelter of the mother. Huh? Just like we're small, as soon as we see some frightening thing, we immediately run into the arms of our mother. We know mother is so soft and sweet. Huh? But now the mothers and fathers, they become so cruel. This child is taken shelter of the womb. Huh? And they scrape him out and kill him. Mm -hmm. Because the whole aim of modern civilization is try to enjoy the senses to the fullest extent. Huh? Huh? So they're saying, this is my body. Hmm? I have right over my body. This uh, thing has come. Huh? It's causing trouble. Because huh? to carry that child for nine months, big trouble. To raise a child, big trouble. Let me get rid of it. Huh? Uh, what is this type of civilization? We can't imagine. Hmm? Civilization that kills its own children has no hope. And so perhaps the modern civilization has failed. Hmm? Because uh, nobody is being given correct knowledge. Uh, first thing is, the, uh, we think the goal of life, just like the Americans, they've put it in their uh, constitution that we have a right to pursuit of happiness. Hmm? Uh, but the purpose of human life is not to pursue happiness uh, or false happiness, but to pursue real happiness. Real happiness means to understand, first of all, I'm not this body. Hmm? The thing is my body. I have right. Huh? This parasite has come within my body. I have right to kick it out. Huh? What is this consciousness? First of all, if this body is yours, well, uh, just like we'll see in a couple of verses ahead, Prabhupada quotes, Prakriti Kriyaman, and it, everything is going on by material nature. I say it is my body. Hmm? But I don't even know how it's working. Hmm? Somehow I just put the food and I'm not telling the stomach, now you have to put out some acid, now you have to squeeze like this. Everything going on, not beyond my control. How does my body, I don't even know what's going on. It's coming out the other end, huh? beyond my control. I don't, uh, sometimes we're stuck in traffic and pushing is coming. And we're, oh, 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 we just want to get uh, to the bathroom. Uh, we have no control. We're saying it's my body. Uh, uh. Even the villager has this knowledge in India. Yesterday we went to some s small farm where the people are, uh, they're leasing that farm. They grow on the farm and they pay something to the owner. The owner's trying to sell. So while we were sitting there, uh, somehow the sun came out, so we were relishing the sun. Uh, the owner came with some prospective buyers. Hmm? So I said, you're the owner? I said, Are bhai, ye tam mere aane se paile, mere jane se ke baad, wo bhi rega. Uh, uh, this land was here before I came. Uh, after it came, it'll, after I leave, it'll still be here. Uh, what is mine? Just my name is it. Uh, they know this thing. He said, ye bhi, ye bhi chut jayega. This also not going with me. Uh, I came with nothing. I came into this body. This body also. Even villager know this knowledge. Uh, and they think Western uh, so-called so civilization, they don't have the slightest idea of this knowledge, that I'm not this body. The purpose of life is not to try to en enjoy the senses. We see everybody's trying to enjoy their senses to the fullest extent. Uh, still they're not satisfied. Hmm? Just I was present in LA one time and Prabhupada was sitting on Vyasa giving class. He said, so, for millions of lifetimes, you try to satisfy your senses. Hmm? Anybody can say, now I'm fully satisfied. Huh? When Prabhupada said it, you can understand the meaning. Fully satisfied. Nobody can say. Hmm? Nobody can say. Hmm? So this simple knowledge, any simple villager, he understands this. Hmm? that I'm not this body. My real business is to try to develop Krishna consciousness. So just like Kams, Kams wanted to save himself, so he killed so many children just to save his own body. He killed so many children. So same thing, for their own comfort, they can kill the child within the womb. Such a useless civilization, no, completely in ignorance. Hmm. So there's not much of a purport, we'll go on, there's a few more verses here with 
Out any purpose? Satvaham Jakta Karunyas Jakta Gyati Surit Kala Khan Lokan Vai Gamisyami Brahma Heva Mrita Swasan Being merciless and cruel, I have forsaken all my relatives and friends. Therefore, like a person who has killed a Brahmana, I do not know to which planet I shall go, either after death or while breathing. Hmm? He's in Khan, such a demon, he also knows all these things. Huh? As I have being merciless, huh? I have killed, I have forsaken my relatives, this is his own sister. Hmm? He's killed all her children. Now she tried to kill the last so-called child of her. Hmm? And he failed. I do not know where, I, where is my, my next destination. Even Kant, such a demon, he knew all these things. Uh, but by association, by association of, when he again associates with his, his evil ministers, they'll again uh, change his mind. Hmm? I do not know to which planet. We don't know. Hmm? We engage our, spend our life in sense gratification and perform, naturally we'll perform so many simple activities. Uh, so there's reaction, just like we have the uh, law of physics, for every action is a reaction. If I throw a ball against the wall, it'll bounce back. Uh, if I don't know that it'll bounce back, it'll come back and hit me in the nose. Hmm? The same way, whatever activity we're doing is going to have some reaction. We're going to have to face that reaction. Even Kamsi knew this thing. And still he's so demoniac. Uh, uh, he still performs simple activities. This is nature. Uh, Arjuna asked Krishna, why is it that people, even against their will, they do so many simple activities? And Krishna said, it is lust only. Uh, uh, this is the all-devouring, simple enemy of this world. So dramatic words Krishna used, all devouring sinful enemy of this world. Just to enjoy the senses of this body, we can do anything. It comes just to keep his body alive. Although nobody, have, ultimately nobody can keep his body alive. Just like I was just reading in that, in Giraj Maharaj's book, in that last Pandal in Bombay, 1977. Somebody asked Prabhupada about health. Huh? Now these people are very health conscious. He said, where is your health? You're going to die. No matter how healthy you make your body, you will die. Huh? Huh? There's no question of material advancement. It's useless. Hmm? Hmm. Only thing we can do is try to advance in Krishna consciousness. Text number 17. Daivam apyantritam bhakti na martya eva kevalam Yad visrambaraham papa swasur nihatavan chisum. Alas, not only human beings, but sometimes even providence lies. Am I so sinful that I believe the omen of providence and killed so many of my sister's children? Hmm? So he's very tricky trying to get out of the, his responsibilities. It was. Uh, that oracle, even the demigods are lying. The oracle said the eighth son will, eighth child will kill me. Uh, but that eighth child escaped somehow or another. Uh, so he's trying to get out of the responsibility. Actually, it was because I believed the oracle. It's not, it's not my fault, it's the oracle's fault. Uh, it, this is the nature of demons. They never uh, want to take responsibility for their activities. Uh, just like one of Murphy's laws is to err is human, but to blame it on someone else is more human. <laughs> so we always do something wrong, but we always... You know, one, another one of Murphy's laws is that person who can smile when everything is going wrong because he knows who he can blame it on. <laughs> so this is the nature of uh, demoniac persons. They never want to take responsibility. The text number 18 will go on. Masochatam Mahabhago Vatmajam Svakritam Bhuja 
जान्तबोध न सदाई कत्र दाईव निंदस्तदा सते ओ ग्रेट सोल्स योर चिल्ड्रन हैव सफर्ड देयर ओन मिसफॉर्च्यून देवर प्लीज डू नॉट लमेंट फॉर देम ऑल लिविंग एनिटीज आर अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ प्रोविडेंस एंड दे कैन नॉट ऑलवेज लिव टुगेदर Again, Kant's trying to get it. That's not my fault. It was providence. Everybody's. He knows. Everybody. This is amazing. He's a demon. Still, he knows. Everybody's suffering his own karma. Purport by Sri the Prabhupada. Kant addressed his sister and brother brother-in-law as Mahabago, because although he killed their ordinary children, the goddess Durga took birth from them. Because Devaki bore Durga Devi in her womb, comes praise both Devaki and her husband. Asuras are very devoted to the goddess Durga, Kali, and so forth. Comes therefore, comes therefore, truly astonished, appreciated the exalted position of his sister and brother-in-law. Durga is certainly not under the laws of material nature, because she herself is a controller of the laws of nature. Ordinary living beings, however, are controlled by these laws. Prakriti kriya mana ne gunai karma si sarvasha. Consequently, none of us are allowed to live together for any long period. So by speaking this way, Kant tried to pacify his sister and brother-in-law. <coughs> So Kant is still trying to uh, justify himself that actually uh, it was their karma that they should die. Uh, so many things. Mm -hmm. This is the nature of the demon. He always tries to rationalize that whatever I've done is right. Devotee means he admits his fault before the Lord and prays to the Lord for his mercy not to uh, commit any more faults. Mm -hmm. uh, This is natural position of devotee that he considers himself most fallen. Just like we have our Nartam Das Takur, hmm? he has nice song where he prays that Patita Pavana Tava Avatara. Patit means fallen. This is Sanskrit. It's Patit, fallen, and Pavana means who purifies. Huh? Patita Pavana. Huh? Hey, tu tava avatara. The reason for your incarnation is to save the most fallen souls. Mosa me pati, mosa mo pati ta prabhu na paive ara. You will not find anyone more fallen than me. So Prabhupada explains in his explanation, the meaning is that since you've come to deliver the most fallen, there's no one more fallen than me. Hmm. Uh, therefore, uh, I have priority basis. Hmm. Uh, Amazon Prime. You have to deliver me first. <laughs> uh, you've you've come to deliver the most fallen, uh, and there's no one more fallen than me than ASAP. You have to deliver me first. This is the position of devotee. And here it comes. He's trying to rationalize uh, that I did these so many things, but actually it was meant to be. It was all by providence. Mm. Uh, you please forgive me. Very crooked demon, this Kant. Uh, he cannot be practically cannot be rectified. Uh, therefore, in the end, we'll see in a, several more chapters. Krishna finally has to uh, kill him because he's hopeless case. Hopeless demon, mm -hmm. still being killed by Krishna personally, he gets liberated. Uh, this is the merciful nature of Krishna. So here, Prabhupada points out this verse that I was telling: "Prakriti kriya mana ne gunai karma se sarvasa." This material nature is going under the only going on under the control of Durga. Hmm? She's running the whole world. Everything is uh, going on. Uh, but the next half of this verse is 
ahankara vi mudatma kartaham iti manyate the mudha vi mudatma the foolish soul he thinks I am doing everything I am the doer hmm? huh? but I already explained we don't even have any control this body uh, is growing old now so many aches and pains have come in old age and nothing we can do about it nobody's desiring uh, that I get so many aches and pains they get problem in the back, problem in the shoulder, problem in the liver, problem in the kidney. Uh, nobody um, desires these things, but it prakate kriyamanani is going on by uh, the order of Durga Devi. Hmm? This material nature is running, and Durga Devi is running under the direction of Krishna. Hmm? But hankara, vimu, hankara, by my false ego, I think I'm doing everything. Huh? Huh? But everything is going on automatically by the material nature. And we know maya dakshena prakriti, the material nature is running under uh, Krishna's direction. So we're all completely cap captivated. Uh, just like uh, yesterday we were celebrating Gantanta, Republic Day. Uh, almost like Swatantra, independence. But nobody's independent. We're thinking now we're independent. Huh? Every country, many countries in the world, they have Independence Days. In America also we have big Independence Day. Here also big Independence Day. But who's independent? We're dependent on Krishna for everything. Huh? We have created so many big, big factories. We can create so many things. We can make a rocket to go to outer space and land on some asteroid somewhere for <laughs> what benefit, I don't know. People are, their citizens are starving, so many people suffering. Uh, just like now we're all suffering with this COVID, but they can go to some uh, asteroid, some rock in space, cold rock in space and land on it. And they think, oh, this is great. We've done something very great. Uh, uh, but what is the benefit? Uh, so we're very puffed up with all our material knowledge. Uh, so, uh, but actually, uh, everything is being run by Krishna. Hmm? Whatever happiness and distress we're getting, it is all due to our past activities. Hmm? Well, the point was we're, we're uh, uh, declaring our independence, but we're dependent upon Krishna at every moment. Uh? Nobody is independent. We depend on Krishna for everything. Everything is going on. We can't even create, that's what the point. We can go to, the, we can make a big rocket, but we can't make one grain of rice. We haven't, one drop of milk. Because huh? now I think they have some type of artificial milk or something. But anyway, nothing like the real thing. So we're totally dependent on Krishna. Nobody's uh, supplying, uh, nobody's uh, can create the air, we can't live without air, we can't live without water, all these things are already there by Krishna's arrangement. And we're totally dependent. Uh, so instead of trying to become independent of Krishna, we should be try to surrender to Krishna. Hmm? That is our, that is the real goal of this human form of life, to surrender to Krishna. And the end of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Amami kam saranam, you just surrender to me. Ma sucha, you don't worry. Now we're, everybody's worried about so many things. This pandemic is there, this economic crunch is there, so many things, everybody's worried. Because then you just surrender to me, Mahasucha, then you have nothing to worry. Hmm? Just like in Giraj Maharaj's book, they're walking on the beach, uh, and somebody was walking by with a dog. Uh, and that man was very fat, his dog was very fat. He says, see how happy the dog is, he's got nice master. So he's very happy. He's dependent on that master and he's very happy. Huh? He's dependent on that master and he's very happy. Then Prabhupada pointed to the street dogs. Huh? Half the fur is missing, one leg is uh, broken, tail is bent in so many directions. He has no master. He's in so-called independent and he's in miserable condition. So we don't want to become independent, we want to become dependent upon Krishna. Huh? Just like our Bhakti Vinod, he prays, 
मानस देहा गया जो किचु मोर आरपी तलुं मानंद किशो दुआ परे लोई आनंद किशो हाँ दे मानस अ दिस माइंड देहा देहा मींस बॉडी मानस अ देहा गया गया मींस ग्रिहा माय हाउस मानस अ देहा गया जो किचु मोर व्हाटेवर इज so called my arpilum duapade nandakishor i am offering at your two lotus feet hmm? this is why we are so afraid at death huh cuz i'm thinking oh my house my bank balance my wife my children my car huh huh everything is leaving me hmm? so we're very fearful huh or just like a thief uh, he has so many things, but he knows eventually the police may come every time. Good citizen, is he's a policeman, he feels happy. Uh, it used to be like that anyway. But uh, uh, the police is there to protect us. Uh, but the thief, as soon as he's in the police, maybe he's come to get me, he found something. Uh, maybe they've come to get me every time he sees. He's always in fear, he's always in fear. Mm -hmm. So the time of death, everything is going, we're crying. Uh, but Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he says, My dear Lord, you please take everything. I'm offering it to you. Then in time of death, we've already offered everything. Krishna, nothing to lose. Uh, why to cry? Uh, now Krishna will take me back to home, back to God. Uh, uh, we're going to give up everything anyway. Uh, the time of death, you'll have to give up even this body, what to speak of. All the so-called possessions, your wife, your children, your house, your car, bank balance. Uh, you have to give it up anyway. In great fear. Why not offer it in love? Uh, now offer it in love. Bhakti Manoh, uh, Bhakti Manoh Thakur says, uh, I'm offering to your lotus feet. Nandikishore, oh Nandikishore. You please take all these things. He's offering in love. We have to give it up anyway. Uh, now he's offering it in love. Uh, so this is the business of our Krishna conscious movement. To somehow train people to this uh, real knowledge. The first thing we, first instruction of Bhagavad Gita is we're not this body. Huh? And Mahaprabhu has taught us, Jivera Surupoi Nitya Krishna Das. Our real position is the servant of Krishna. Hmm? Therefore, this body is Krishna, whatever I have is Krishna's. Therefore, we should utilize, utilize it in Krishna's service. Hmm? This is the real point that everyone misses. Hmm? I can remember in Hyderabad, one year we went to Hyderabad in 1975 after Mayapur festival. There was a lot of time before Krishna Balaram Mandir was going to be inaugurated. So Prabhupada did some Pandal program in Hyderabad. And uh, every night Prabhupada would give a nice lecture then he'd ask for questions they had a microphone but generally especially South Indians they like to listen to themselves so everyone would come up to the microphone says Swamiji I have a question that is very important for the all of humanity and I think you're the person to give the answer to this question because this question is very important that everybody should understand the answer to this question so I want to ask this very important question and I think you're the person who can give the right answer for <laughs> the finally Prabhupada told the Chutananda you tell him to write it down <laughs> so the one guy came up and he was going if Swamiji, we have to do the duty. Krishna says we have to do the duty. So we have to do the duty. He was just going like that. Prabhupada said, that is monkey's duty. <laughs> huh? They're very happy to quote this half of this verse uh, that w you have to do your duty. The other half says, but the result belongs to Krishna. That half they always skip. Hmm? You have to do your duty, yes. Hmm? So if just working hard is religion, then the most religious person is the ass. <laughs> he's working hard. He's so foolish. He's working very hard. He's carrying... We, we read about these things in Prabhupada's books, but we can come here to Vrindavan, we can see the actual thing in front of our eyes. See the asses carrying bricks, carrying sand, carrying so much laundry on their back, so many things, stones. Huh? 
And what happens after he works, the owner gives him a little grass. All day long he was walking in the grass. Huh? On both sides of the path is grass. Huh? But he's thinking, unless I work hard, uh, how can I eat grass? Huh? How will I get grass if I don't work hard? <coughs> hmm? So foolish. Huh? He's walking on the grass all day long. So the other half says that the result belongs to Krishna. We have to offer to Krishna. This is the half that everybody misses. Uh, so, Prabhupada was preaching and one of the, one of the, the cross my down my pandal, that you, um, you like to make money, so make money, but you offer to Krishna. You help this Krishna conscious movement. Prabhupada was so strong on this point that somehow you help us. Uh, that everybody's suffering in this world. We're giving the real solution. Hmm? Everybody's opening a hospital and so many things. Uh, but that's only half of the solution. The real solution is not to take a material body that you have to go to the hospital. So Prabhupada begging all the time, please cooperate with us. You like to make money, so make money, no problem. Huh? We cannot tell businessman, you stop making money. How is he going to stop? That's his uh, goon and karma. Hmm? But then you offer something for Krishna. That is the perfection of life. So we take everything, we see everything as Krishna's. Huh? And we utilize it in Krishna's service. That is Krishna consciousness. That is the need of this hour. That is why Prabhupada is pushing us to distribute these books and all these pandals. He was just begging and pleading you, please cooperate with this movement. You please take advantage of this movement. Uh, uh, so every day we hear so many wonderful, it's amazing. We hear so many wonderful bookstore scores. Like this morning, what was it? It's 800, 700 books distributed. Somehow or other we just push on this um, movement of Srila Prabhupada, probably please. Uh, and this life will become useful, just like a screw. We may find so many screws and nuts and bolts lying on the road, useless. Uh, with a tiny little screw and it's connected to the big machine, it becomes useful. The screw is nothing, but he's connected with the machine somehow or another, he becomes very useful. So somehow or other we want to connect ourselves. Prabhupada has got a big preaching machine. Somehow or other we want to become a little screw in this machine. And somehow Prabhupada will be pleased by his blessings, will leave this miserable material world, go back to home, back to Godhead and dance with Krishna. Hare Krishna. So any questions or comments? Yes. Why is it that um, it says Krishna devotees, they generally are poor, and like, you know, those who worship the demigods, the Lord Shiva, become wealthy and rich. Why is Krishna letting the, the devotees become poor? <laughs> because, uh, Generally, our fallen condition is that as soon as we get some wealth, then immediately we want to enjoy our senses. So just like I was watching, uh, somebody sent some link around on the, some ICC conference about life of Tukaram. Hmm? So Shivaji, Maharaj Shivaji, he came and he del gave so much jewels and everything. And took around, just took all the jewels off his wife and children. This is poison. Uh, uh. And Shivaji was so astounded at the renunciation of this guy. So generally, uh, as soon as we get some good, as long as we're in trouble, we're always praying, Oh Krishna, please get me out of this trouble. And as soon as we're out of the trouble, then we forget. So therefore he says generally, because we see in the, the uh, example of Sudama, he was so poor, only thing he brought was some chipped rice. Chipped rice is nothing. Hmm? Chipped rice is the cheapo thing. Uh, we don't care for it. Hmm? That's the only thing he, he came to Dwarka to offer. And uh, Krishna just ate one little bit of that chipped rice. And when Sudama came back, he had huge palace. But because he was totally com Krishna conscious, he lived in that palace and did everything for the service of Krishna. He remained Krishna conscious. So generally people worship the demigods, that's why they avoid Krishna. Especially like when I went to 
uh, Malaysia. Uh, all the Tamils said, no, no, don't worship that guy with the flute. He'll take away everything. So they always said, Amman, Amman. Huh? So generally, because, and Prahlad Maharaj said the same thing. The Lord Nishringadev said, please take some benedictions. Are I was born in a de demoniac family. My nature is to enjoy my senses. Now you want to give me something to, to, to make me fall down again. Enjoy my senses again. Hmm? So you take some benedictions, whatever you like. He said, no, no, I don't want, I, you, you're, I'm already fallen. I'm born in a demoniac family. So my nature is to, sense gratification. So don't offer me any sense gratification. Hmm. So generally, but one who's very advanced, just like Prabhupada, he explained uh, how uh, his all business failed, his family failed, everything failed. Uh, then he went to America with f four rupees, forty rupees. Uh, he said, now we have forty crores of rupees. Hmm? Because he was using everything for Christian service. He wasn't uh, not a farthing, Prabhupada always said, not a farthing for sense gratification. Uh, so sometimes Krishna gives all opulence to his devotees who will use it properly. Hmm? But generally he keeps us because we're born in this Kali Yuga. Our nature is to try to satisfy our senses. We're so sinful that we even try to kill our children just to enjoy our senses. So uh, better we stay in poor condition and always be praying to Krishna. Oh, Jigasu has a question. <laughs> Yes. But uh, every different body is having different machines. Uh, they are having the same machine, but we have different disease. Yeah, because everybody has different type of karma. Whatever, this body is just a reaction of all the activities we've done in previous lives. So everybody is an individual. We have individual karma, so everybody is suffering from something different. But everybody is suffering, that's the common thing. That's Krishna's mercy, uh, that actually, I, I can remember my first temple president, uh, Harinama Prabhu. Prabhupada came to, he opened up a temple in Santa Fe and Prabhupada came there. But before Prabhupada came, he was bitten by a, a special type of spider we have in America called Black Widow. That its bite is, you won't die unless you're very old or you're a little baby or something, but it can be quite painful and uh, you can get fever and everything. So he was, his leg was all swollen, this black, black widow bit him. And when he came to the airport, he couldn't bend his leg, so he bowed down in a funny way and Prabhupada said, what's the matter? And he said, oh, I was bitten by some black widow. Prabhupada said, yes, by your karma, you were supposed to lose that leg completely. But Krishna has minimized. And Prabhupada gives the example of the fan that as soon as you turn the switch off, the fan doesn't stop. It, it keeps spinning, but there's no more power. So we're getting all the little, just powerless reactions of all our sins. But gradually, the fan starts slowing down and slowing down. But as long as we got a mature body, we're going to die. We're going to suffer d disease, d disease in old age. Uh, but devotee sees a Krishna. Uh, he takes all these miseries that Krishna is trying to teach me. This is a... Nasty place, this material world, let me go back, get, back, get out, go back to home, back to Godhead. So, uh, I'm going to add a little comment on this. So, there's a Shrima um, Kalvaka chapter 10, uh, sorry, Canto 10, chapter 88, verse 8 to 10. It says like this The personality of God says, If I specially favor someone, I gradually deprive him of his wealth. Then the relatives and friends of such a poverty stricken man abandon him. In this way, he suffers one distress after another. When he becomes frustrated in his attempts to make money and instead he friends my devotees, I wish for special mercy upon him. A person who has thus become sober fully realizes absolute at the high, as the highest truth and most subtle and perfect manifestation of spirit, the transcendental existence without him. In this way, realizing that the supreme truth is the foundation of his own existence, he is free from the cycle of the spirit. So Krishna is saying this. <laughs> Yeah, Prabhupada was always remembering this verse. Okay, one more question. Time is up. Just we see from the attitude of Kanjab, 
that uh, he was reflecting that he has been too much in some activity, but again he was involved in such activity. So <clears throat> as practicing devotee, I also observe that I make some mistake, then I pray from God and do devotees and seek an authority. And after some time, uh, I, I again consciously repeat such mistakes. So how to overcome such attitude? Oh, we have to keep it's all by association. If we associate with materialistic persons, then we'll commit mistakes. If we keep our association with the devotees, then the devotees will encourage us. And Prabhupada explains that uh, it's natural that we'll make mistakes. That is not an extraordinary thing. The extraordinary thing is to get up again and try again. Hmm? But the best way to keep, just like Prabhupada said, if you have one stick, very easy to break. But if you put so many little thin sticks together in a bundle, <laughs> impossible to break them. So we want to stay with the association of devotees. And just like child, we can take example from the child. Huh? Just like walking is a natural thing. We don't even think about it anymore. But there was one time where it was a big deal for us to try to take a step. Huh? But natural, walking is a very natural thing, but we have to learn it. And we see the child, he tries to uh, walk and he falls, he, hit his, he hits his head on the uh, coffee table in the corner of the coffee table, he gives a big uh, uh, bump on his head, he cries, but then he's just determined, he just gets up again and tries again and tries again. And finally he's running around everywhere driving his mother nuts. Huh? Huh? So we can take this inspiration from the child that no matter how many times he gets bumped, no how many times he falls on his nose and his bloody nose, he just keeps going because walking is natural. So Krishna conscious is natural energy of the soul. It is natural to be Krishna conscious. So we just keep trying and trying and trying, take inspiration with the child, and one day we'll be running back to home, back to Godhead. All right, one more. Mm. And if you're a person machine, the desire sometimes comes like, why I should be the screw? I should become the machine. <laughs> 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 that is that is our uh, ankaravi muradma. That is the problem. That is the problem. We just want to be uh, the dust of the lotus feet of the previous acharyas. If we think that somehow or other I am a big acharya, then already we're halfway fallen. As the more puffed up you become, that I want to become big, big, big devotee, then you're just putting your chin so Maya can come and pow, give you a big punch. <laughs> so we just want to be a little screw. We don't want to become a big machine. Uh, just somehow or other assist. We're not a big acharya. Prabhupada was a big acharya. He spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. He was. You read this book, Prabhupada, just begging and pleading with everyone. Somehow you take to this Krishna conscious, you cooperate with this Krishna conscious, you be Krishna conscious. So we just want to help somehow or other, that's all. Practical. No, devotees will 
Sinar Sabar ini sebenarnya di dalam di Roma ya Dari sekitar setengah Dengan Dropa di Semana Bangla Three times Dari Dropa di Semana Bangla Dengan sekali di Chapter 1 Dropa di Semana Bangla Ada Informasi yang juga Dropa di Semana Bangla So, we get it Okay, so we can all fall down at the very soft and wonderful lotus feet of that great personality who's given us the process to get out of this dark, miserable material world. See the Prabhupada key.